come on, you seriously gonna tell me because he's Caucasian and said the N-word as a result of that, his scholarship was revoked? Come on now, let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> let's be real. You know, <laughs> the man was singing a song. Which I, I, I get it. I know we we are in a very sensitive culture. You know, there are some things that we should be careful with our words. We got to be careful what we say, how we talk. I get it. But let's be honest with ourselves here. Like, how many black people you know were hurt, wounded emotionally or physically because this young white male says the N-word? Find me that black man or that black woman who felt that this racial term had such a negative impact on them as a person that they were somewhat offended. Where in the black culture is the white man saying N-I-G-G-A, repeating the words, the lyrics of a song, where in the, <laughs> tell me how is that racist? How does that hurt anyone? I, I don't understand. And I'm not saying it's okay to say the word. I don't say it. Um, <laughs> our young black male shouldn't be saying it either. And the question I always have, if it's right for some, it's right for all. I, I mean, if it's okay for a black man to call each other an IGGA, uh, <laughs> So, I mean, he can, he can, he's, he's singing. He is singing. Like, listen, give this kid back his scholarship. Give, give us a break. All that cancel culture, all that trying to control and control people's language. And again, to top it off, he came back and apologized. Yeah, Twitter, where the youngster said, I was in the car listening to rap music, rapping along to the words, and posted a video of it on social media. I deeply apologize for the words in the song that I chose to say. It was hurtful and offensive to many people and I regret that. I fully accept the consequences for my actions and I respect Florida's decision to withdraw my scholarship offer to play football. My intention was never to hurt anybody and I recognize that even going along with the song, my words still carry a lot of weight. I still strive to be better and to become the best version of myself both on and off the field. I know that learning from my mistakes is a first important step. So what are we uh, spanking him about? I mean, it is what it is. I'm not saying it's okay that he said it, but I don't think the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Come on now. L let's be honest. <laughs> like, like, we black people say the N-word all the time. I don't. I could care less about that. I don't say that anymore <laughs> because I'll call you by your name. I'll call you my friend. Uh, and things like this, but I will not call you my N-I-G-G-A. You, you are not an N-word. Um, you are a human being. I'll call you buddy. <laughs> you know, I, I certainly do agree. We do have to be careful what we, how we use the word and what we say, but that's been going on, and the black culture has used that for many different reasons, and I know white people, they spell chili straight white male, as Tom McDonald puts it, you just not allowed the same rights as black people do today. It's a fact, okay? And I'm not trying to play the race card, but I'm playing the race card, okay? A lot of white men, and uh, I, I'm being honest, I'm watching, I'm paying attention. A lot of white men, unfortunately, are very quick to be classified as being racist for the things that black people do all the time and get away with. Real talk. And where's the double standard coming from? Like, the thing is, if, if a man is a man, if he's wrong, he's wrong. If he's guilty, he's guilty. If one goes scotch-free, why are we condemning somebody else just because, though, the color of their skin? Not the content of their character, the color of their skin. Like, please, give these kids back his scholarship. Give it back. Yeah, what he did was wrong. He learned his lesson. But leave it alone. Give us a break. We are tired of all this extra nonsense. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Bye.